Welcome. Very good. Lishi, Maria, Welcome, Namaste. See, very beautiful smile. Bhavani. Bhavani ji. Good. I hope everybody is fine. And very good. Okay. Okay. Everybody, you can sit with your spine straight. Stretch your lower spine, lower back. Stretch your middle spine. Stretch your neck muscles. The whole spine. Straight and active. Close your eyes. Throw the palm on your knee upward facing. Relax your shoulder. Be aware of your breath. Together we chant one Om. Take a deep inhalation. Take a deep inhale, bring both your palms together to your heart center. Bow down the supreme divine force with full of love and devotion. Surrender yourself completely. Let them, our whole life, become a practice towards the supreme realization. Rub both the palm. Place on your right eyelid. Let them enter the divine force through your eyelid and energize the whole corner of your body. Rub the forehead, cheek, throat, lower brain. And relax. Namaste and welcome. So I hope everybody is fine. And in our last class, we have completed few things about the Muladhar Chakra, the root chakra. Okay. So, today we start our second chakra. So, before we practice, we should know 
that few things about the second chakra swadhisthan chakra so our the second most important chakra is called swadhisthan this is a sanskrit name maybe it is difficult to hearing and pronouncing but the english name is sacral plexus it is connected or the second chakra is called sacral plexus and this meaning swadhisthan means that is a mini that the self awareness the self if this is you have to bring awareness of your self existence so adhisthana means the literally meaning of english you can understand in this way that self existence you can feel that you are here that is the meaning of swadhisthana now what are the things connected to this chakra first we go to understand that what are the physical part physical body connected with the swadhisthana chakra so it is connected to the sacral plexus and the gland if you go to physiologically or anatomically in the medical science the gland it is connected with adrenal gland adrenal gland and it is very nearer to the uterus in the male body and in the female body it is located in um w o m b um it is near this chakra is connected and located in the mouth of um in the mouth of um it means in the sexual organs it is very nearer basically the second chakra it is closely connected close basically this is connected with your sexual organs so all this sexual pleasure this is connected to your swadhisthan chakra sacral plexus now you know that the highest purified energy existed in the human body is the sex energy that is your highest purified energy and that it maintain your whole body it is not in in western many people are open and try to understand all this thing but in india it is very difficult their way of thinking in a very wrong way but this is the energy and after you know you know how it is formed when we are eating after eating the rest west part it is outlet to toilet the all the minerals energy all this it is more purified then it change into our blood tissue then muscles cell so in this way seven purified thought seven purified thought after that the last it is called bone bone our bone 
when we are eating everything after much it's so it is purified and it build up all our bone muscle nervous system cell everything after that blood the last form it is come blood that we know blood is how much how much it is uh, the more or uh, it is more uh, responsible to maintain our body blood if you have no blood of you if you are very less blood then very difficult to live and out of the blood out of the blood after that it most purified and it convert into the energy and it is the medical science uh, it is proof that out of 100 out of 80 drop 80 drop blood the one drop of your energy it created out of 80 drop when we it form 80 drop of blood in our body then one drop of energy it form so now you can understand how much valuable the energy and out of that energy now many you know they are wasted west in different form but out of that energy then in spiritually if you converted that is called ojas o j a s ojas so with that energy it change into ojas and that is called spiritual energy so if that energy it change into ojas then your thought your intellect your perception your feelings it everything change that's why if you understand those who are very much spiritually active it means they have transformed they have changed their energy into ojas that's why their way of thinking is it is more white this is how it is working and this is the existence in the sacral plexus in the swadhisthan chakra that's why the most important thing in this chakra that you can feel the pleasure the happiness so this is give you the most at best happiness and that is coming from the sacral plexus second chakra so another one thing that in this chakra in this root the sacral plexus then you can feel the personality of your being personality of your being that i am this i am that i am this i am that that is the sense they give up the personality that is from the second chakra so you can feel sometimes you may feel i am so beautiful i am a female i am a all these thing so all these this type of feeling that is come through your second chakra
from here your the kundalini rising it start the muladhar chakra the root chakra give the foundation holding the foundation the stability they prepare the ground and after the ground is prepared then the force the kundalini shakti start to rise up upward so from second chakra the kundalini shakti it's start the upward rising we start from upward rising and the bija mantra i think everybody you have remind the bija mantra of muladhar chakra how many you remind bija mantra yes helen is remind bhavani remind meria remind eh sara where are you going that time the bija mantra of your tell me bija mantra of root chakra sara so your mic is not open on mute yes what is the what is the bija mantra of uh i'm not sure i ah, uh, i don't i really not sure but i if i remember correctly is vam lam lam f a m lam lam is the bija mantra of your root chakra and vam vam is second one the swadhisthan chakra v a m vam 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 is the second mantra the second chakra bija mantra for the second chakra vam v a m vam so this is how all these very small introduction there are all these so many explanation about the chakra but generally we go on much more on practice so that automatically we can feel and we can experience the particular chakra through different kind of practice so like this the root chakra in this chakra also we have different kind of asana so before that you can know that this chakra exist near the uterus in the male body and in the female body it is near the womb it is in the mouth of the womb at the same time in the female body also it is connected with the uterus so these are the location for the second chakra so we have to prepare and practice to flexible and to more strengthening and activate this part where the swadhisthan chakra located so that the force the kundalini shakti the energy it can rise up upward more and more active so that we can prepare and we can practice okay so any before we going to practice any kind of doubt question misunderstanding kindly you can ask so that you can know clearly and you can practice without any doubt have you anybody any questions misunderstanding or the doubts yes 
Matrika. Yeah, Marika. Um, I am first time in the class. I didn't. Ah. Um, I didn't do the the um, Mulan Chakra practice. Can I go Mulan straight? Chakra. Yeah. Can I go straight to the next one? Yes. Yes. It is possible. Okay. But no. But but earlier also you have in class the all these practice this one, then the this the front one. No. This is your first class. This is my first class. Yeah. Oh, are, eh? This is your first class. No, first class, yes. First. And this time, this time, uh, the last class, you are not here. No. Uh, but but you can practice. There is nothing that a person who has not practiced the root chakra, so he can't practice the second chakra. It is not like this because. Okay. The second chakra practice also it is connected to the root chakra. Okay. So there is not a straight line that yeah many people think also like this. So it is but it is not like this. Yes. So you can practice. Okay. Thank you. Like, any other thing? Very good. So fast. I can show you the practice in the standing posture. Okay. So one by one, we can see, so we can practice the asana, we can practice the mudra, and we can practice pranayam in different form. We can practice to activate the sacral plexus. So the first thing I can show you to practice in the standing position. So there are few asana in the standing position, few asana in the sitting position, again few asana you can practice with the lying position. So in different stage you can practice to activate the sacral plexus. Clear everybody? Okay. Then we can start our practice in the standing position. Okay, everybody be on your mat. Very good. So the first one, it is called Hasta Uttanasana, hand rising. And at the same time, we are practice two asana simultaneously. So one is hand rising. This is here called hand rising. This is only not hand rising. This you have to go a little bit uh, up to this much. This is hand rising. Okay. And the other one is called Hasta Padasana. Hand and feet. Hand go to feet. You can touch. Yes. You can touch your toes. So this is your yes. So this is your practice. Now what you do? Now all this practice you can connect with your breath. All the practice you can connect with your breath. So one round I can show you. You can observe clearly. So I think Anita Young. Okay. One, one practice you can see. So from here, as before that, you can stretch your body. Stretch your body 10 times. Take a deep inhale. Stretch. Uh, take a deep inhale and exhale. Take a deep inhale and exhale. Take a deep inhale 
and exhale. Go for 10 times. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Now relax. So this is your stretching. After the stretching, then you come to practice for your Swadhisthan Chakra. Now I can show you five breaths. From here, you start from here. Both the hands are on the ground. From here, what I do? Both the practice I can practice with breath. So from here, I take a deep inhale. From there, I have exhale. From here, inhale. Yes, very good. Okay, relax. Now you go on practice like this. Clear, everybody? Okay, position. Be aware your movement with your breath. If you, if you disconnect your breath, your movement will disconnect. Both the movement and your breath together. Okay, position. Relax, Lishi. We can start together. Okay. Little bit, little bit wide, just one feet apart. One feet apart, both your feet. Do not completely, completely join. It is, you can't go downwards. It is one feet apart so that you can go downwards more correctly. Okay, position. Concentration. And start with deep inhalation. Two, three, four, five, Six, very good, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Relax. Very good. Everybody is very, very flexible. Very good. You can see, you can feel the lower abdomen, sacral plexus, that you can feel very clearly. That is the, your physical part for the strengthening. Hmm? Be aware your breath. This is Basically, you can feel, you can active the lower abdomen, the uterus. Be aware your comfortable breath.
be aware your lower abdomen basically we have to prepare with proper flexibility be aware your normal breath be aware your comfortable breath we go for the second round stand on your mat we go for the 20 breath this time more perfectly you have to prepare both the movement of inhale and exhale so you are inhale and exhale through your body the body movement okay position both the leg apart comfortably good sara little bit apart comfortable it means you can place your comfortable distance so that you can move forward bending as much as possible that's the idea so find out your own distance so that you can go to forward bending maximum that's the idea so it is not particularly one feet or two feet or anything else so you decide your comfortable distance to move maximum forward bending this is the idea now make strengthen your feet on the ground that is your muladhara chakra your feet is now your muladhara chakra you are ground grounding your whole body movement you can place on your feet okay position concentration and start with deep inhalation four five six seven very good eight Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Twenty and relax. Very good. Be aware your lower abdomen, the sacral plexus. This is strengthening your lower abdomen. More active. the lower back and the lower spine be aware your breath
be aware your lower abdomen slowly slowly you can observe your breath observe your normal breathing be aware your breath be aware your normal breathing be aware your the most relaxed body now your body is ready for the last round So last round practice very good so let us we go on this round 25 25 breaths you know in this practice each breath is important you are breathing through your body your body movement it prepare your breathing okay so this round we go for 25 breath okay make your feet both active both the feet in a comfortable distance okay concentration close your eyes and start with deep inhalation four five six seven eight nine Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. and 20 and relax now we can sit down
be aware your breath observe your lower abdomen be aware your breath now try to locate your swadhisthan chakra the mouth of the womb uterus region you can feel the sensation feeling on your swadhisthan chakra you can feel the flexibility of your lower abdomen slowly slowly be aware your breath it is more and more comfortable observe your normal breathing feel your comfortable breath and open your eyes now you tell me how you feel Okay. So first, I can come to Mari, Marika. Very good. Um, I felt like energized. Ah. Very good. And But your. I I felt the the point in my tummy. um some point <laughs> it is very good your the many things many people the body is very flexible and one of you that the body is very flexible basically slowly slowly we can reach you can reach that you can touch your nose uh huh to your knee so okay. when finally we are going to so your body is very good flexible thank you and good that according to your physics body is very flexible <laughs> so thank your you. and helen your is very good you are very how you feel um when when we were we were uh, relaxing i could feel my voice going down to my uh, to, to the, my uh, sudistan and yeah. coming up from from there coming up i could feel the voice going up and down uh, it was uh, <laughs> surprising so, so this is this is our this is our uh, practice to like this uh, warm up or we can tell this is the practice of movement this is the practice the movement to activate the swadhisthan chakra this is one way the second way we can we can practice the holding 
so holding the position okay so in two way we, we are preparing so this is we are preparing with movement so the whole everything is going on movement our breath body energy everything and your body is very flexible then sara how, how you feel there is no problem oh it's okay i had an injuries in the recent time at my root root chakra um i had uh, an injury at the pelvic floor oh yeah uh. yeah <laughs> and but but your movement is very good ah thank but you you are not feeling any any discomfort with this practice no huh? no okay. i was, i was curious because my uh, low abdominals are uh. quite um not um, not not the best That's but no, but, very good. but it is very good but your your movement is very good thank you <laughs> uh -huh. thank you but but you are not feeling any discomfort now absolutely okay then it is good after the few days practice automatically all if you if you feel it is uh, more tight or something it's automatically go into flexible because movement is very good thank you because so your forward movement it show you how much flexible your lower abdomen and the lower back so it's good thank you so much thank you lishi yes there is, yeah no problem with this practice uh actually i have a question ah yeah when i when i when i uh, when i'm folding when i going down when i folding and i I feel the tightness of my lower back, but it's not because of the stretch. It's because my, I think, I think because of the cesarean uh, delivery. When you go down, how you feel stretching on a lower back? Yes, but should I, should I relax or, or keep it, uh, no, keep relax. it a little bit tight? After, I should after relax practice. totally. No, after practice, you can go to relax. After okay. practice. No, have you any problem in lower back? Yes. What are the problem? Uh, it's, it, it, it's, it's ache, but, it, but it's, oh. it's not because of yoga. Yeah, it's, I think it's because of the surgery before. Okay, then what do you do? What do you do? You can you can bend down and go to backward bending and forward bending. Both the practice you can uh, go in a comfortable flexibility way. Do not stretch more. Your your movement is very good. You can your forward bending also very good. If you feel that that it create the problem in the lower back, so little bit you can practice in a comfortable zone otherwise at present your forward bending and backward bending is very much perfect so if you feel little bit difficult then you can just go to comfortable it means do not stretch back much more you can little bit reduce so slowly slowly it can make you flexible Clear? Yes, Guruji. It's uh, hmm. it's not uh, the the timer. It's not about the physical. I, I mean, uh, I feel okay with the posture, and uh, but it's not because of like I I'm going too far. It's not about that. I think it's something inside my organs or or okay. nervous, nervous. I, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's okay with that. Yeah, it's uh, just but, uh, hard to describe. But do, do but not thank you. stretch much more. Do not okay. stretch much more. So if you feel little bit discomfort, go to reduce little bit, do not do it. So, but practice in a comfortable way. Okay, but the at present, your posture is perfect. Thank the you. The posture is coming, both forward bending and backward bending. Now we come to Maria. Maria ji. Hello. Um... Yes. 
I do had problem. Uh, Which one? Yeah, I had very hope in my brain Red. and here. Very hot. Very hot. Yeah. Very hot when you are practicing. Yeah. Or before when you are practicing. Yeah. Now, okay. after the third now. round, and I feel like vibration, like the blood pressure is much more. Yeah. Okay. So, according to your body and according to your feeling, you can go in a moderate, medium practice for you only. I show you the moderate practice, how you practice, not for everybody. This is only for Maria. So what do you do? This, the movement, you can reduce in a slow way. So on this rate, on this way, you can practice. Do not go faster okay. because, huh, because everybody are stronger. So yeah. Don't, uh, so slowly, slowly you start with the moderate and slowly, slowly increase. Okay. Good. Uh, because and your body also require the flexibility. Yeah, I know so, that I'm not so flexible, but uh, yeah, is not what is bothering me. Correct. I so was it expecting, is. I was yeah. expecting the problem with the back. Correct. That I'm not so flexible, but what Correct. is bothering me yes. is that I feel this thing in my head. Very good. So for this you only, for you only, you can go on this okay. movement. One, two, three. So you can. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Namaste. Okay. Next we come to Olivima Leo. Hi. Yes. <laughs> um, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Very good. So how you feel? I um so it's 5 40, 5 50 in the morning. So I was very tired at the beginning of practice. And then after oh, the but it is a perfect time. Yes. <laughs> 5 15 in the morning? Yeah, 5 55 in the morning. It is the most perfect time. So you have to go early bed. Yes. Right. Ah. Yeah. Then, but I feel um I feel awake now and energized. Yeah. yeah. Good. But your uh, um, is also perfect. And how you feel? I I feel good. I actually I I felt a little bit of nausea at the end of the last round. Um, mm. but I don't know if it has to do with like menstruating, if it's not so good to practice this kind of stuff when you're menstruating. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, that is in that, yeah. In that time, it is try to avoid yeah. your uh, menstruation time. Hmm? Okay. So because no, this overall, is- Overall, it's, it definitely yes. woke me up and I feel kind of refreshed and energized, so. Yeah. Or you can practice in a moderate way. Mm -hmm. in a middle in the middle force but uh, but generally because your that is connected your menstruation also connected to the yeah. uh, swadhisthan chakra mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so but the flexibility is very good thank you now come to our very dear student bhavani namaste Namaste. So what is your experience? Tell me, Bhavani. I feel very good, but I also have a question because uh, I have uh, too much fire in my body. Huh? And I what? know I have to work to pacifying the fire. And huh. all this fire breath, it feels like increasing the fire. Like sometimes I get more angry, more fiery after practice. Oh, and, and also some question is about uh, high blood pressure people, because uh, this definitely increased so much the blood pressure and uh, pregnancy and menstruation and vertigo, all these uh, people that have this problem, can they practice this and 
people that have too much fire, is it good to do so much fire bread? Okay. Now, the first thing, are you angry also? Little bit. <laughs> then, eh? but uh, nobody, uh, through your smile, nobody believe that you can do angry. Such a beautiful person, how can he become angry? Eh? Possible. <laughs> Possible. <laughs> so, this is one thing. The second thing is, uh, this one, the practice for the number one, if you are telling for the, I have already told at the time of menstruation, you can go in a slow process or try to avoid these two, three days. That is one matter. But if you, this no doubt, it increase your digestive system. It increase your, the uh, fire because the Swadhisthan Chakra and Manipur Chakra, this is connected to your digestive fire. So all our problem in the body, it's coming due to the less digestive fire. If your body, if, if your digest, digestive system is not correct, not active, then all the problems start. So this help you for your digestive system. This is second thing. The third thing about you are telling about the blood pressure. So blood pressure also that it, when you go, those who are blood pressure, blood pressure patient, they also practice in a moderate way, not in the, uh, not in the very time like this, uh, what I told with the Maria. So in that slow process, he can practice. So that we can't say that a blood pressure patient, he cannot practice at all on this. Now we can't tell like this. This is not like this and nothing hamper. Only thing is they can practice with, with very moderate way. This is second thing. Next, I come to you for your personality. Now, have you, have you any back, back problem? No. No. So your body is still little bit tight. Your when you go on practice, then you can you can go more forward bending. So you because your you now you you have no back problem, and also you are not so much fat. Eh? So when then then your forward bending, it's require more, more, more uh, downwards. Uh, it means I need to bend more forward or backward? Forward. Mm -hmm. it, were, it requires a little bit more extension of your forward bending. So when you go on practice slowly, slowly, it helps. It helps to move more and more flexible of your lower back. This is practice for the lower back and lower abdomen, flexibility. So you can prepare and whenever you are free time, you can practice, okay? And what about increasing the fire with the, if I do one hour, this kind of bread, bread it really increase my fire. Yes. You want to increase your, Fire no, or you want to... I have too much fire. I want to, uh, uh, want to reduce, increase, reduce okay. the fire. Yes. Very good. That also we can do with different pranayam. So the question is, uh, how can you know that your fire is increasing? How can you know? What are the indications? You, uh, you become hot. <laughs> eh? You feel hot? So your your body, you are feeling hot? Uh, yes, hot and angry. <laughs> no, angry is not due to the fire. Angry? No? No, no that, that is not due to the your uh, this, uh, this abdominal fire. But angry is something. But body temperature, it is connected to your fire. Body temperature. 
and that we need this is a very good indication why you are worried the if you feel that's why ha huh, another one thing very clear if you feel the body temperature hot that is indication of the activation of the sacral plexus the swadhisthan chakra this is one of the indication so this is also be noted both in your manipur chakra and the sacral plexus it make your body temperature hot that's the that is the that is the energy how can how can you feel that energy that indicate the temperature of your body now there is a very good indication why you are worried okay so is ah. it good to warn our students if they have uh, menstruation or high blood pressure to do more moderate so, no i am not telling about the menstruation that two three days you have to stop mm -hmm. it is hardly two three days men two three days you have to stop that one because it is you stop in that menstruation time and another you are telling blood pressure okay Uh, blood pressure people you can prepare in a moderate not in a high speed all you are doing high speed okay and okay. and it is good do not worried about temperature it is good okay. indication that your body hot is indicated it is good don't many people here yeah, many people fear also so there is nothing to fear so automatically the whole system now it is active on oh, the third thing it is coming your anger anger you have to reduce you always think how it is possible i am such a beautiful person how can i become angry you always think that one okay or when when you when the anger coming okay so you remind my face <laughs> okay so it means you can you are you are starting anger to me okay so that anger automatically it's go okay okay no okay. okay. thank you thank you next come to sailaja have you practice or not uh, namaste guru ji actually namaste. i got a little back pain so i didn't practice it actually uh, guru ji i have uh, practiced fire series yesterday and day before yesterday two days i have practiced this one uh, yeah fire series uh, guru ji fire series to strengthen uh -huh. the arms and uh, uh, core core strength core muscle okay okay i got uh, muscle pain severe uh, uh, muscle pain arms and uh, oh my god how can how can how 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 you practice i think you are not practice mane in a proper guidance or proper way yeah i have practiced for one and a half hour two days one and a half hour i have practiced uh -huh. I, i mean i have taken long time so oh. very severe way i have practiced so i got muscle pain i don't i mean my question is we can continue for th third day same series or we, we need to stop it guru ji the first thing tell me that have you got the muscle pain or it is your back pain i got muscle pain goji first muscle i got span. muscle pain yeah abdominal muscle pain and arms pain i got after that i got the body pain so i got okay the first thing you do you forget about how many series you do first thing you do first massage yourself Okay. Massage yourself, the muscles, the hand muscles, and all these muscles. First, you make a very good massage. Okay. Three days. Huh. Yeah. Fast. Because fast okay. release your pain. Okay. After okay. that, you feel the body is flexible, relax. Then go for your practice. That's why I am. practice that's why you have to practice in a proper guide or proper way they, it does not mean that you are practicing one hour two hour and one and a half hour the practicing one once you practice go to relax make your body relax flexible again go for the second practice so in this way you can go 
suppose if i do suppose for example so this exercise what you are doing at the same time i give for 50 so automatically your muscle span start after 50 within one minute again i start so don't do like this so practice in a proper way okay otherwise otherwise your body your your body you should listen you should prepare okay so don't go in a rigid way many people they hold the very difficult person in a rigid way so that immediately get the strength it is not yoga is not like this you can't uh, you can you can't bring in the spoon and you can take and eat it is not like this proper way okay so fast massage okay. all the muscles everything make comfortable then go for this practice further practice okay Guruji, i have one question any ah. practice we are doing new practice uh, if we are doing uh, first time we are doing we should not do intensively uh, we should not do intensively we have to do in moderate way oh ah. you 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 have to increase moderate to intense moderate to intense okay that's why especially i uh, i guide the maria so her body is different so you can't practice with the all these uh, the young guys here they are practicing so speedily their body is okay all mm -hmm. the young eh, heleni sara they all are young body and they practice their their i it means their body strength is fine they can practice in that speed but that speed they can't go to maria it does not mean everybody is same he has their she has their own strength so she should understand and according to the the strength of the body so she should practice so we are not here to competition we should understand our body and we should prepare our body clear so in this way you should go in a moderate oh to inter high intensity okay so like this we can practice and we can go for the next class for the next new asana okay together we chant one om make your spine straight position concentration Take a deep inhale. Oh. Bring both your palms together to your heart center. Bow down the supreme divine force with full of love and devotion. Surrender yourself completely. Let them, our whole life, become a practice towards the highest realization. Rub both the palm. Place on your eyelid. Feel the warm energy entering through your eyes and energize the whole corner of your Rub of the forehead, sweep through lower brain and relax. Namaste and thank you. Okay. Always okay. smile. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Guruji. Thank you. Hello everybody. <laughs>